Hello, so let me show you how to take an existing Azure AI Foundry agent and make it available and usable inside Teams, M365 Copilot, Slack and Twilio, thanks to the M365 agent SDK and a sample that you can find on my uh, repo. So we are inside uh, Foundry for now. You see that I have got a couple of uh, agents available. Uh, so one of them is a stock agent. Uh, so it's a fairly simple agent uh, where it's going to connect to an API using an open API descriptor and uh, search for a specific stock value and return uh, the, you know, the value of the stock uh, using the, the name and also like on a specific period of time. So it could be one day and multiple days. And then if it's multiple days, I'm going to show that uh, via a table. Uh, the way I'm using it is with the stock API uh, um, uh, available, so you can see that in my repo how to use that and create the same agent as a sample if you like to to have access to that. I've got a second uh, agent that uh, its purpose is just to give me uh, the current date because if I'm asking to the agent what post, for instance, the Microsoft stock value in the last two weeks, you need to understand what day is today. Uh, so for that, I'm using the code interpreter to return using Python the current date, and then the agent will be able to use this date call my API, return the JSON, and display it. So we can give it a try, you know, uh, directly inside the agent playground. So for instance, what was the MSFT stock value in the last two weeks? And you will see that thanks to Foundry, you will even be able to see how we will manage to answer to this question. So you should see that is going to call uh, my API. So with the thanks to the pen API descriptor as a tool. So tool call, you say open API, a connected agent just for the date. And you see it's worked fine. You can even have a look to the thread log to understand okay, what it did. So uh, it was calling my agent to get uh, the date of today. And then it was uh, calling the uh, API. And finally, it uh, has answers uh, with a full um, uh, feedback. So you see, this is working fine. Now the idea is how to make that available uh, to the various channels. So you need to download the sample code. Um, and you see that uh, I'm currently running uh, inside uh, Visual Studio, uh, the code. And when it's running, I've got this um, a client running. So I'm going to connect to the same Azure AI uh, Foundry agent. So now I've got a welcome message because part of my agent is, is nice. It's going to say hello to Teams users. And I'm going this time to say like what was the NVIDIA maybe stock value this time um, yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to send the, the, the message. What you can see is on my machine currently uh, is running um, uh, like the, the client. So here it is. So you see that I was able to receive the message inside my local server. So everything is hosted on my machine. Um, and I should have now the answer stream back uh, from uh, Foundry that the agent is going to do the same process we've seen in the portal uh, that using my uh, other agent to get the date using the uh, call API and then it's going to answer inside Teams. So you see that the beauty of that is I can now fully control and, and manage my agent in Foundry, do all the multiple agent calls and expose that as an endpoint to my Teams clients. Of course, the beauty of that also is thanks to a concept we are naming custom engine agent offered by uh, the agent SDK, I can expose the same uh, agent to M365 Copilot. So the beauty of that is I have also a possibility to have what we are naming a conversation starter. So I can ask this question, for instance, automatically for people that are not used to, um, to know how to call your, use your agent. So I'm going to send the same request. Now, if I'm displaying once again, uh, you see that I still receive the, the message there. So my local server is still able to, um, to manage uh, the, the call to, to the agent. And now we should uh, wait for the answer uh, until it manages once again to have access to uh, the Foundry uh, model uh, answer. So I can see that I've got some answers that's going uh, to, to happen uh, in, a, in a fairly uh, quick moment. Here it is, and I was able to have, you know, once again, the Microsoft stock value in the last two weeks. Um, and I could even continue the conversation if I like. 
So two uh, channels that are available uh, thanks to uh, agents SDK. And the beauty of that is we have additional ch uh, channel um, that are available there. If I'm going um, inside my uh, channel configuration of my bot in Azure, you see that I also have Slack and Twilio. So for Twilio, um, I'm going to use my uh, iPhone there. And uh, I've got this specific uh, phone number uh, that I can send an SMS to, a text message. And I'm going to ask like, what was maybe this time the Apple uh, stock value uh, yesterday, once again. So I should still be able to see uh, the message coming uh, in my console somewhere. So it's taking time to send the SMS. Um, because, you know, I need to have <laughs> connectivity access uh, to the cellular network, but it should work uh, in a few moments. Well, it's turned out that it worked, but my iPhone, for whatever reason, was stuck on sending the message. Uh, and you see that I've just received a, a SMS from Twilio telling me about the uh, Apple stock value uh, for yesterday. So uh, it did work well. Um, so I managed to send, you know, this, a message to my agent in Foundry uh, via Twilio, via an SMS, via my iPhone and get an answer back. It's still the very same agent, so super convenient. Okay, last but not least, what we have also on top of that um, is... Um, the Slack um, also channel that we've seen, it's configured also in my Azure bot, uh, you know, configuration. So now what can I ask? Um, what was again the MSTFT stock value in the last two weeks to get the table once again? And once again, I should be able to see the request um, uh, somewhere in my console there, it should be tracked somewhere, so it could take time to send the request uh, to my local server, but it should be there, uh, here it is, so, um, and then it's going to manage that uh, and answer the, the inside the Slack. So you see, I was able to have four different channels, but it's not, you know, only that, you have many other channels available, so Azure Communication Services, Alexa, Facebook, many other uh, channels. We've been using Teams, of course, and thanks to Teams, we had access to M365 Copilot. So how does it work? So it's super simple if you like to get started. Um, what you need to do is to go back uh, in the portal. Um, what you need to get is the uh, Foundry Project Endpoint that is there, and also the ID to your uh, agent. So if you go uh, back to your list of agents, you've been able to see that my uh, dedicated stock agent uh, got uh, the ID that we're going to just see in a couple of seconds. There it is. So this is the ID. You need to copy paste those two values, get my sample, uh, go inside Visual Studio there, and you will have um, the, the way to configure, um, let's move that, the two values, so at the end of the properties uh, file, the Foundry project endpoint that we've just seen and the uh, agent ID. We're going to use also the, your identity to connect to that. So you will need to log in using the Azure uh, CLI to log in on your uh, subscription with your account. And thanks to that, uh, you will be able to uh, uh, open directly in Microsoft Teams. So you see you can uh, launch Teams, it will install the app in Teams, it will connect to your uh, local server uh, to be able to test that. I'm going to stop that and switch to also the playground. So this is a convenient way also to test your agent. So now if I'm starting my agent inside the playground, you don't even need uh, M365 tenant. Uh, it's going to work immediately. So you see that I've got the same welcome message uh, with my agent. And I can ask uh, what was uh, the NVDA this time stock value um, in the last week this time. And uh, once again, uh, you should be able to see the request, you know, coming to your uh, console app that is uh, hosting the, the server. Um, it's going to ping my agent uh, in Foundry once again, and everything will be streamed back to, uh, to the playground tool. So. You see that you could start very easily, configure your agent in Foundry, uh, get those two values, 
log in into Azure with the CLI, and then you will have the answer being streamed back to, to your playground um, to check that everything is working fine. Uh, another way to test it also, if you that takes the time to deploy that to uh, Azure, um, so this is an additional step you will have to do. Um, I will link the doc to how to create the Twilio connection, the Slack connection. Uh, you see the, those two lines. But the first step also to check that you moving slowly from your local machine to production is to create the Azure bot. And once the way, an easy way to check that everything is working fine is to go to the to the web chat. So you you see the, you have test in web chat there. Uh, I still have my welcome message and I can ask the same question. Um, what was the Apple this time? Uh, stock value uh, last week. Values, to be sure we have potentially multiple values returned. Um, so if it's working well there, uh, it should work with additional channel as long as you manage to configure the channel properly, uh, you know, in Twilio and, and Slack. So you need to have, of course, a Twilio account that I've got there and you need to have a Slack access. So feel free to play with the sample. Um, it should be an easy way for you to take an existing Azure Foundry agent. The beauty of that, once again, is you will be able to configure everything in your portal with your agent to manage tools, you know, knowledge. If you like to have additional knowledge, multiple agents, you can change the model settings. You can do everything in the playground in Foundry. And once you're happy with that, it's just about making the connection to various channels using the agent SDK. Uh, we are also using the agent toolkit, uh, you know, uh, to be able to give you access to the playground to facilitate the deployment to teams. So. Using all those tooling, you should be able to do a lot of things yourself uh, in a super easy way and fast way. And you will be able even to track, uh, for instance, the call to your agent in my threads. So let's imagine you like to debug, I don't know, like you, you sent a, a message from Twilio or whatever, and it didn't work well. You can track, you know, some of it. So I don't remember which one was Twilio. So, um, maybe the, this one let me check uh, which one i ask it was apple yeah so you can open that in the playground for instance this specific message and then view the thread log and check if something didn't work well in this case it worked well so it was able to get the date to do a cool tool call to my um, to my api so everything worked well but you see you can now separate it you know uh, management one just for the channel, one just for the agent itself. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think it's pretty fun to build. So I would love to get your feedback and feel free to break it, to provide feedback and uh, enjoy. Thanks.